What do you do? Interactions like this happen all around the NFL every week. Hey, how you doing, bro? I'm good, you all right? I'm cooling, bro. How about you? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Have fun. Already. What do we got to do, bro? It's been a long time coming. We're good, bro. Yeah, what you been up to? I've been cooling, bro. For real. But it's extra special when two players have known each other since high school. Hey, ball out, though, bro. Yeah, you too, bro. In high school, shoot. Travis was the fastest, one of the fastest kids around the county at that time. Travis Benjamin! Man, can that kid run! <laughs> From Little League to middle school to high school, in his area, that's all you heard of, Janari Jenkins, Jack Rabbit. Pass intercepted by Jack Rabbit! It's the sixth NFL season for Giants cornerback Janoris Jenkins, Jack Rabbit. Hell yeah, Jack Rabbit! You a bad man! And Chargers wide receiver Travis Benjamin, AKA Rabbit. Good job, Rabbit. Nice job. In week five, the Florida high school rivals faced each other again. Jack Rabbit on Jack Rabbit. That's there. right. Benjamin trained the same way Janoris Jenkins did, chasing down those rabbits out of those Bernie Cane fields. Ah, yes, the burning cane fields. Over 400,000 acres in the western end of Palm Beach County, Florida, are covered by sugarcane. Annually, Farmers burn the husks to make the harvest easier. The process also displaces a very large rabbit population. So once you go out there and they burn it and they escape from their home and you get to chasing, mad foot speed. <laughs> you know, you got the tractors come down, they cutting back and forth. You got kids running everywhere, like people running everywhere. Like, me and you may be chasing this one rabbit. At the same time, it's all about who catching it. And I think out of that, we got like, motivation. So I feel like the rabbit field was one of the ways of keeping kids like myself and Travis, you know, out of trouble. The Glades region of South Central Florida has always been one of the most fertile grounds in America for both farming and football. The nutrient-rich soil there is called the muck. The annual game between Glades Central and Pahokee High Schools is called the Muck Bowl. Ten years ago, Jenkins ran number one for Pahokee and Benjamin, number three for Glade Central, squared off in an epic showdown. I just remember walking out in front of the fans and family and getting ready for a big game, knowing it's to be crunch and hard and physical. Janaris, man, he always been that top defender growing up. Hey, Paul could have a defensive back, Janaris Jenkins, he's good, and everyone knew that. So you knew that coming to that game and playing against Pahokie, that if you were their best receiver, he was coming after you. I have some footage from that game from 10 years ago. No, you don't. I do, I gotta show it to you. Wow. No, this bring back memories. This is tradition here, man. That's coming out the tunnel. Out the hell, man. Let's go, man, let's go. Yeah, I think Jenkins scored the first touchdown at running back. That's Janaris Jenkins, and he walks right in for a touchdown. <laughs> wow. He had no cornerback like Jenkins yet. They saw Alan was talking smack to me the whole game. Yeah, the best back in the nation. Everywhere Travis Ben was going, uh, Janar Jenkins was playing by himself. He signed with the University of Florida, so he thinking he's the top corner in the state. Oh, come on back over here, pretty girl. <laughs> He throws left toward the end zone. T-Bet is there, and this ball is almost intercepted by Janaris Jenkins, intended for Travis Benjamin. Hey, we had some battles. I don't even remember that play. Oh, here go right here. When I caught the slant touchdown. He ran the slant on me. He caught it. He threw up to you. That's the only time I felt myself like have anger in me. They was talking all that smack. And he was already committed to Florida. That's why I thought to you. That's when I knew I was going to Miami. I couldn't back out. <laughs> T back one hand and grab. Oh, he was lucky he caught that ball. Like, did he just really catch that? And he caught it. But we celebrating at the end. Hogan, man. From the cane fields of Muck City, these jackrabbits have come a long way. Their path to the NFL couldn't have been any sweeter. I just caught the chills for real. Like, I remember all the plays, playing all the moments over and over again. Like, for me to know what I did and to see it 10 years later and to know that I'm in the NFL is like, that's what I was working for, to get here where I am today. 
to look back and see how far I came, all the work I put in, it just gave me that extra motivation, extra push that we can look back on what we are today in the future and say, hey, I did this and did this. Me and Janara are still competing.